I'm Connie Tsao, Chair of the American Heart Association Statistics Committee. Hey everybody, I'm Seth Martin. I am Vice Chair of the AHA Statistics Committee. And we're here very excited to announce the publication of the 2023 Heart Disease and Stroke Statistics Update. The AHA, through the Epidemiology and Prevention Statistics Committee, as you know, continuously monitors and evaluates sources of data on heart disease and stroke in the United States to provide the most current information available in the annual statistics update, with a review of published literature through the year before writing. The 2023 statistical update is the product of a full year's worth of effort in 2022 by dedicated volunteer clinicians and scientists, committed government professionals, and of course, American Heart Association staff members. The AHA strives to further understand and help heal problems inflicted by structural racism, a public health crisis that can significantly damage physical and mental health and perpetuate disparities in access to health care, education, income, housing, and several other factors vital to healthy lives. This year's edition includes additional COVID-19 publications, as well as data on the monitoring and benefits of cardiovascular health in the population, with an enhanced focus on health equity across several key domains. In addition, we have generated several key fact sheets by age, sex, and race ethnicity, translated into multiple languages, and also additional fact sheets detailing global cardiovascular disease statistics. Among some of the key statistics that we present this year, I thought was that notably, although the past few decades had shown a decline in cardiovascular death, we really noted that there was a large increase in the number of cardiovascular deaths um, in the U.S. in the past few years, notably since 2020 of the COVID pandemic. Uh, and this was really highlighted, especially among ethnic minorities, including Asians, Black, and Hispanic populations. So that was one key aspect that I, I took from this year's update that I thought I should highlight to everybody. Connie, I, I uh, am really glad that you highlighted this statistic because this is so critically important and, and striking. It uh, really should be a call to action for us to uh, re address the fact that we're not only not improving fast enough, we're heading in the wrong direction when it comes to cardiovascular disease mortality. And our statistics document provides uh, many other statistics that can help us understand how to address this uh, trend. Some of those statistics include the fact that 122 million U.S. adults, about half of U.S. adults have hypertension. Only one in four of us in the U.S. as adults are meeting physical activity guidelines. And as you said, there's major persistent disparities across uh, racial ethnic groups in, uh, in risk factor control as well as outcomes. And so this is really a call to action for us to know these statistics and work uh, collaboratively to address these and make sure these numbers look better in future reports. So the HA statistical update represents a critical resource for the lay public, policymakers, media professionals, healthcare professionals, healthcare administrators, researchers, health advocates, and others. It really serves wide uh, audiences that are all working around the HA mission. Um, and seeking to base our work on the best available data. Um, cardiovascular disease produces immense health and economic burdens in the U.S. and globally, and so our uh, statistics update can really serve um, the, as a starting point for the work that we all uh, are doing. Um, so I would uh, urge everyone to check out the part of the update. We know it's a long document. You may not read it all in one sitting, but check out the pieces that are of most interest to you in your work. And I'd like to thank uh, you, Connie. It's been a pleasure to work with you. You've been an amazing chair and leader of our group. I'd like to thank uh, Sally Wong and Debbie Hurd as HA staff who've made this all possible, as well as all of our very dedicated committee members who have put in a, a many, many hours into uh, bringing this statistical update to fruition. So thank you to everybody. Thank you again, Seth, for, for your transition to your chair position and, and also to Debbie Hurd and Sally Wong and the rest of the HA staff, as well as our statistical committee in the broader sense for all of their hard work. It's a tremendous effort every year. Uh, we hope that the readership enjoys the, the latest update and thanks everybody again.